Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Vivo Nex Dual Display. Now you can pick this up on Amazon, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, 800 bucks. Now on a side note, if you like to shop on eBay, I found it a little bit cheaper for 750 Now me personally, when I'm buying expensive gadgets, I tend to shop on Amazon for that A to Z guarantee, but you do what you do. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM and CDMA phone. Now I went to the website and checked all of the LTE bands. This should work on AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. Now the phone is available in one color, polar blue. For the display, on the front, you got a 6.39 inch Super AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 403 for the PPI Patrol. On the rear, you got a 5.49 inch Super AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1920. As far as the PPIs, I don't know. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 630 GPU. You get 10 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with the FunTouch 4.5 skin on top. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So that's 12 megapixels f1.8, 2 megapixels f2.8, that's your depth sensor, and you got your 3D time of flight stereo lens. You also got dual flash. For the battery, you got a non-removable 3,500 milliamp battery that features fast charge. And on the side note, if you notice, I didn't mention anything about the front camera because there ain't one. Now you also got an on-screen fingerprint sensor to get face unlock, you got a headphone jack, Bluetooth 5.0, and USB Type-C. So what's missing? No wireless charge, no IP rating, no dual speakers, and no expandable memory. All right, so all of that for 800 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White Shoes, I love White Shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Vivo Next dual display, 800 bucks. Got Spider-Man on deck, here we go. One more. Rah. Okay, now I gotta be honest with y'all. I haven't watched any videos of this phone. I only seen a couple of pictures. I'm dying to see how this is. Let's go, build that hype up. Okay, Vivo Next dual display. <laughs> Little drop test. Okay, here we go. Okay, check this out. Dual displays. Let's hit that power button, see if we got any juice. Okay. Nothing on the back yet. <laughs> it has a nice weight to it, too. All right, feels like aluminum trim. I'm dying to see how this looks, though. So far, look at that camera, though. Okay, it's pretty flush. All right, scoot, scoot, shoes, scoot, scoot. All right, let me let that power up. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, you got your stickers. <laughs> Let's see how this opens up. Okay, nice presentation alert. Check this out. Here's your headphones. Now let's see, um, can I beast these open real quick without breaking them? All right. <laughs> let's see, 3.5 jack on the headphones. These look pretty cool. I'll test them out and see what they look like. Here's your fast charging brick. This is gonna be your SIM ejection tool alongside your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. And this is gonna be your USB Type-C charging cable. All right, so let's scoot that out the way. Back to the dual display. Okay, so maybe we gotta set this up first in order to activate the dual display, but we'll see what it is. In the meantime, you got a power button on both sides. You got volume up and down. There's your single firing speaker, USB Type-C. There's your SIM tray, headphone jack, mic, and that's pretty much it. Now, the thing about this phone that's pretty interesting, other than the dual displays, the way the camera is set up. Think about it like this. On your average phone, the best camera's on the back and the worst camera's on the front, on your average phone. So when you're shooting your videos, you're shooting from the rear camera. So if you like to vlog or you like to make a lot of selfie videos, now you're gonna be able to flip the phone and shoot with the main camera and use it as a viewfinder. So this is gonna be your video videographer's dream. <laughs> if I said that right. 
All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna set everything up. I gotta run my usual errands. I gotta make a move to the credit union. Gotta go to the supermarket. So I'll do a couple of uh, camera tests. I'll do my video camera tests also in the supermarket. And then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, real quick. One thing I just noticed in the box was also a bumper case. Now, since this has dual displays, you can't protect the back, but you can protect the corners and the sides. So let's slap this on and see what it looks like. Here it is, here's your bumper case. No problems on this. All right, so let me set everything up. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a couple of hours. I ran outside and did my little camera testing, and I gotta keep it real with y'all. I literally love this phone. All right, no scale of one to 10 necessary. I love this phone. Now, it's been a long time since I got a brand new phone that has me this excited, has me smiling the whole time. I love this phone. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. It's kind of gimmicky, and I can't argue with that. It's definitely not for everybody. It is a little bit gimmicky. But if you like innovation, you like to be different and unique, this is the phone right here. Now, until that Galaxy Fold or that Mate X comes out, this is about as different and unique as you're gonna see. Especially if you had the Galaxy S6, Galaxy S7, S8, S9, now you're just getting ready to get the Galaxy S10, you might be tired of buying the same phones over and over and over with just minor upgrades. If you had a Galaxy S9 and you get the Galaxy S10, it's gonna take you literally 15 minutes to learn everything that you need to learn on this phone that's different from your Galaxy S9. When you buy something like this, it has a major learning curve. You're going to need a few hours to play with it. Now, I've been playing with it for a couple of hours, and I still don't know everything yet, but I'm going to show you what I know so far. And one of the things that I love about this phone, it has the let me see that factor. And what do I mean by that? When you're in the cafeteria at work or you're in the bar hanging out with your boys, you whip this phone out. The first thing anybody's going to say is, let me see that. This phone has the let me see that factor. Now, check this out. Couple of different ways you can open up the phone. We'll talk about that first. You notice, always on display. Now you see white shoes on the front. Always on display, in-screen fingerprint sensor. Now if you flip it over, you got always on display on the back and face unlock. So let's start with the face unlock. Now I'm gonna look at the phone and unlock it. Bong, just like that. Let's do that again. Look how fast that is. Now I'm gonna look it away. You see nothing, now I'm gonna look at it, bong. <laughs> Super fast, bang. All right, face unlock on the back. No fingerprint sensor, just face unlock. Now, if I flip it around to the front, I can swipe up and put in my pin or my pad in, or I can use the on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Do that a few times. Now, you don't have to press the power button. You can do it while it's off, but it works 100% of the time. Haven't had any issues yet. Now, one of the things that made dual screen phones kind of gimmicky in the past was the screen on the back was always trash. On this one, you got 1080p on the front and 1080p on the back. Now the back one is a little bit smaller and a little less PPIs, but they basically look the same. Now there's a couple of different ways you can switch. You notice if I hit both power buttons, switches to the back. Or I can swipe over, I swipe with three fingers, and flip it just like that. This is so sick, it's so much fun. Like I said, the let me see that factor on this is through the roof. Build quality, let's take off the little bumper. Now, you might be concerned with this case, uh, with, the case with this phone, because it's dual screens. So there's really no protection for the back, you're gonna have to use that bumper case, but the build quality on this is excellent. Definitely doesn't feel cheap. Feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. But so far though, I'm just having so much fun with the dual screens. Let me get, let me do the face unlock. Bong, look at that. This is just so dope. Swipe with the three fingers, switch to the next side, and all of the apps actually work. So let's open up YouTube real quick. All right, so here's YouTube. Let's, let's click on the video, random video. All right, somebody getting jacked. Okay. You see that, right? Now let's hit flip to the back. Here's YouTube again on the back. Let's open it up. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit smaller, but it's still the actual YouTube video playing. 
all of the apps that work in the front, they're gonna work on the back. I like to hit the two buttons, switch back over. Now let me show you how the uh, display looks and how the speaker sound. Let me pull up a video that has some actual pictures in it with a little bit of music. All right, here we go. LG G8, DOA, dead on arrival. <laughs> Shout out to LG, they tried though, they tried. All right, so let's open this one up. Let's see what quality we working with. Oh, I re I'm reporting my own video. Calm down, Floss. Let's see, let's get it on 1080. Beautiful display. Now you only got one speaker. That is the downside, I wish I had dual speakers. Let's skip a little bit. Beautiful display. Hit that button. Bomb! Right on the back. <laughs> you can see right through that camera hump. Woo! <laughs> yo, yo, this is too much fun. This is too much fun. Edge to edge panels. I love it. All right, so the display got no problems with. Speaker sound crystal, crystal clear. Not the loudest in the world, but crystal clear. Now, here's the part of the learning curve that I was talking about. This Fun Touch OS is like nothing that you ever used before. It's kind of like a mix between Android and iOS. So if you notice, if you swipe down from the front, here's all your notifications. I right, can clear those out. But if you want to get to your quick toggles, you got to swipe up from the bottom. So once you swipe up, got my recently used apps, and here's all the quick toggles. So let's go through those real quick. You got game mode, you got speed up. I said I'll clean up all your RAM, you see? Phone will go, go a little bit faster. You got eye protection, turn that on at night. Turn it off in the daytime. You got vibration, data, flashlight. All right, check this out, smart capture. Now, once you hit smart capture, you get this little bubble right here. I can hit screen record. I can do a long screenshot. So I want to get a whole conversation. I got rectangular or funny screenshot. So let's do a uh, lasso. Say I want to show somebody my favorite apps. I can just circle them just like that. And I can save it and send it as a lasso. I didn't complete the circle. But you also got doodle, uh, doodle, doodle. <laughs> you, got, you got doodle. All right, anything else? Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Now you can also press this button to switch displays. All right, so I swipe up from the bottom. All right, so that's in case you want to use a button. Let's see. Let's go to uh, anything else. All right, so you got rotation lock. You got your airplane mode, calculator, multitasking. And if you hit more, here's the rest. Now you do got, uh, <laughs> let's see, you got your camera, easy touch. All right, easy touch will be that little floating ball. So say this phone is too big for you, turn that on and you can use that. You can make the screen smaller, all right, that small screen, all your basic toggles that you're gonna need to survive. <laughs> Let's take it over to settings. Now, one thing that is missing on this phone is NFC, but you got dual displays, so that's probably why you can't have NFC. Well, whatever, it is what it is. Same thing with the wireless charge. But let's go through. All right, so you got your wireless networks, mobile networks, personal hotspot, Bluetooth, OTG. Now, if you turn on OTG, you can switch, transfer your files, but you can also do this. So I'm gonna plug in a phone, phone cable. Let's grab the Galaxy S10. All right, my bad, I grabbed the wrong cable. You're gonna need a USB Type-C to USB Type-C. So I'm gonna plug one end in, grab the other end, got the oppo, let's plug this in. And if you notice, now it's charging up. So you can use OTG to charge up another phone and transfer all of your files. Let's see what else we got. All right, so you got your status bar notifications. Okay, showing your lock screen, wake up reminder, network speeds, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to system navigation. Now, if you want, you can have the iOS style gestures, or you can just have navigation keys. And like I said before, I'm never using gestures on Android phones. Let's change the order of the keys. If you want, you can have back on the left, back on the right, and you can also change the design. Now, I like having the stock Android ones, the fun touch ones, they look kind of trash. And you can also change in our uh, landscape and uh, portrait mode where you want the keys at, either the left or the right. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's see, you got your Jovi. Now, this is your smart camera, your smart scene, your game mode. 
You got do not disturb. Sound and vibration. All right, let's get maximum shoes. I need you to fall back. All right, hold, scoot, scoot. All right, <laughs> ringtones. Loud enough to get the job done. You also have hi-fi. Now, once you plug in your headphones, you're going to have some hi-fi sound. I just tested it. It's just okay. It ain't really hi-fi blowing my mind. It's okay. It's okay. Dual screen. All right, so you got illumination bar. All right, now this actually lights up. Different colors when you get notifications. I like that. You can have, change it for what you want. Let's see, uh, display screen, uh, display full screen rear. That is full screen. It's just not that big. Giggity. Switch between screens. Now you can use the three fingers or you can have a little dock that floats out on the side. I like the three fingers. It looks a little bit better. I'm not going to go through everything. Let's see, uh, lock screen. Got your lock screen posters. All right, dual screen off display. So if you want, you can have always on display on the front and the back, and you can change the pictures to whatever you want. Let's uh, let's put something different on the front. Let's do the uh, regular clock. We hit apply, set to the front. Let's see how that looks. Out right, a regular clock. Let's keep it moving. Let's see now. You can also have your notifications, blah, blah, blah. Different themes. You know what it is. Let's see. You got your face unlock, fingerprint, pattern. Let's check the RAM and the storage. 10 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs of storage. I got 114 available. No micro SD card slot. Let's go to more settings. Now, like I said, there's a lot to learn about this phone. Let's go to... Uh, let me show you. I wanted one more I wanted to show you. Let's see. It was um, more settings. All right, my bad. Now, I'm still getting the hang of Fun Touch OS. One more thing I wanted to show you. I just had to scroll down a little bit more. Smart motion. Now, this phone has so many motions and gestures. Like I said, the learning curve is serious on this one. You're going to have to play with this. I'll just go through a few. All right, smart wake. So slide up to unlock the phone. You got to slide down to take a photo. Draw the letter C to launch a dollar. Draw the letter M to play music. You can slide horizontally to change your music. Draw the letter E to launch your browser. F for Facebook. And draw the at symbol that'll open up your emails. Then you got smart turn on and off the screen. So right now I got it set for raise to wake. So when the phone is on the table, once I pick it up, that'll wake the screen. Then you got double click to light. Say so I got your phone on the table. Double tap it. That'll light the screen up. Then you got smart keep bright. So as long as you're looking at the phone, it'll stay bright. And then you got double tap to turn off the display. Then you got some smart call features. All right, smart call. Say you're getting a phone call. Just put the phone right to your ear. That'll automatically answer the phone. You got smart switch. Say you're on that phone call and you want to put on speakerphone. All you got to do is put the phone down and it'll turn on speakerphone. You got smart mute. Say you're getting a phone call. Wave your hand over the screen. That'll mute the call. And you got wave for hands free. So say you answer the phone. Wave your hand over it, and that'll turn on your uh, speakerphone. A lot of different features on this one. You got shake to turn on the flashlight. Smart rewind. Now, say you was in a meeting, and you got your phone set to silent. Once you pick the phone up, it'll vibrate to let you know that you missed notifications. And you also have air unlock. Now, say you turn off all your security features. No face unlock, no fingerprint, no pattern, no pin. You got your phone on the table. Wave your hand over the screen. That'll unlock your phone. That's perfect for if you're at work and you just want to keep going like this and checking your emails. You don't have to pick up the phone, wave your hand over, it'll unlock. Pretty slick. All right, so let's see what else you got. You got your smart split. All right, manage screen splitting. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Manual split. Now, if you want, you can use three fingers. You swipe down three fingers. That'll activate split screen multitasking, or you can use the button. Let's see what else you got. One-handed mode. That's pretty self-explanatory. Screenshots. Now, two different ways to take a screenshot, volume down and power, or three fingers up. Like I said, there's so many gestures and motions, it's going to take me a while to get the hang of these, but we're trying, we're trying. Let's see, you got app clone. Now, say you got two uh, Facebook accounts or two email accounts, uh, two Instagram accounts. One is your regular, one is your troll account. You can have both of them on the same phone. And you got smart click. Now, smart click is your volume down button. So if I want, I can turn this to flashlight. While the screen is off, hold down volume down. That'll turn on the flashlight. Now, let's see. I think I'll leave it set to uh, open up camera. You can record audio, open up Facebook, or set it to whatever app you use the most. All right, that's pretty much it. Now, speaking of camera, all right, speaking of camera, the camera on this phone is amazing. Now, up until today, 
All right, my favorite selfie camera has been the Oppo R17. I look so beautiful in those pictures, but now this is the new champ right here. All right, my bad, y'all. I had to take a phone call. Where was we? Camera. Now, besides the dual screens, the camera on this phone is my favorite feature. If you like taking selfies, you're going to love this phone. Let's go through some of the different modes. You got pro mode. You can change the ISO, change the white balance, change the autofocus. You got panoramic shots. You got night mode, AI beauty. Now, when you're taking your selfies, turn on AI beauty. It's going to make you look beautiful. Now, ladies, if y'all thought I looked good with that R17, wait until you see the selfies I took on this. I look amazing. <laughs> I know. All right, you got photo, video, and AR stickers. Now, if you go to photos, let's go to settings. You can change the different aspect ratios. 24 megapixels is the max. Video, you got 4K, 1080p, or 720. 60 frames per second is the max. Now, on the top, let's go back to photos. You got your flash. You got HDR. You can change all your different portrait lighting. So you got monochrome, rainbow, loop, stereo, and studio. You got live photos. You got Google Lens. You got a timer. You got all your different Instagram filters. You got this pose mode that I never really played with yet. And you got this feature right here. Dual screens. Dual screens at the same time. Now, why is that so dope? Imagine when you're outside and you're taking a picture of somebody. They don't really know how they're going to look. You activate dual screens, they're looking right at the other display, they're gonna see what they look like. This is amazing. All right, this is the photography camera, all of your pictures, that person could never complain how they came out because they're gonna be looking right at the screen and see what they're gonna look like. That's pretty dope. And you also got portrait mode and full screen. Now, when I was outside, I did my usual test. Let's just breeze through them real quick. All right, now check this out. Here's a selfie that I just took. Look at the skin. The skin looks flawless. Look at the eyes. Now, I always get the same comment. How come I never take pictures without glasses on? Do I got one eye? Is something wrong with my eyes? Here's the real reason why I don't take pictures with glasses off. You see how brown the eyes are? You see how beautiful that is? If I take pictures like this, people tend to get hypnotized, and I don't want to do it like that. Now, of course, I'm feeling myself right now because this camera is just amazing. Look at that. The skin looks amazing. All right, here's me in shoes. Look at this, another one. Look at the skin. Fellas, if you're trying to get your catfish on, you're going to need this phone. I look about 10 years younger, and look at that skin. Look at the eyes. I got to post this on the gram. That's the fresh face. All right, now, <laughs> here's those stickers. All right, I never take pictures like this, but in the interest of this video, little cat pictures, you know, you can do what you want. Now, look at this. The camera is amazing. This is, this is a regular photo. Watch night mode. Look at the sky. Now this is just regular, a regular photo. That still came out pretty good. If y'all watch some of my previous camera tests, this is I'm, I'm always standing in the same spot, taking a picture of the same supermarket. You can see that tree, you can see the sky clearly. But a night mode, it just looks even better. This is one of the more underrated cameras on the market. Again, regular photo, night shot. Look at the sky, regular and night. Now, this right here is going to show you how night mode looks. Now, this is a whip right here. It's snowing outside. Look at the difference in night mode. Look how bright that got. You see the ground? You see the sky? There's night mode. That's banging. All right, one more. Regular and then night mode. Pretty sick. Now, inside, all of the colors looking nice and vibrant. No complaints. Now, check this out. This is what I was a little bit worried. I was a little bit worried when I do my regular walk around the store camera test. I hope this camera has some stabilization and it sure does. Look at this. Let me turn the volume down a little bit on this. Look at this. Nice and stable. Yeah, I know I got shaky hands and it's not even shaking around that much. Pretty smooth. I could definitely take some videos with this and not be ashamed at all to represent Android hard. Now, if I was really trying to be a little bit more steady, it would almost look like a gimbal. All right, this is excellent video quality. This is excellent. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, check this out. This is a regular shot. 
Now, you see the background? Now, watch the portrait mode. This is regular. Here's portrait. All right, I'll turn it sideways. This is regular. Keep your eye on the back. You, you can pretty much see down the aisle in portrait. You see the item is in the, <laughs> the item. <laughs> the ramen noodles, <laughs> the ramen noodles is right in the front. The back is blurry. Same thing. You see the Velveeta cheese? I, <laughs> I know. Shout out to everybody eating that Velveeta cheese. Look at, look at it now. You see the difference? You see the background? Nice and clear. Then it gets blurred out. That's the bokeh. <laughs> bokeh effect. All right, there's all your uh, juices. My favorite waters. Now, check this out. <laughs> now, this is a regular photo. All right, shout out to everybody that be drinking that Malta Goya. Y'all know who y'all are. Regular photo. All right, looking pretty savage. There's the portrait mode. You see the background change? You can, always, you can basically make out everything behind me. Look at the background. This is like, this is like an ad for <laughs> some prison Malta Goya. All right, check this out. Now, this is those little silly filters. I'm trying to look hardcore whilst wearing whiskers. All right, another one. Portrait mode on this is crazy. All right, it's just crazy. That's just a regular photo. That's my dude bagging everything up. Now, this is in the car. Regular and night shot. Look how bright the back of that car in front of me. It, lo it looks like I almost turned on the headlights. That's didn't touch anything. That's went to night mode. Now this is upstairs in my little, uh, my little, my little bootleg office. I RGB heaven. And this is upstairs in my little DJ, little DJ section. Had the little red lights on, little green lights. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Overall, the camera on this phone is just too much fun. It's amazing, and like I said, you're gonna look beautiful. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Apple.com. Okay, now this is the full website. You see how fast that loaded up? All of the pictures, nice and smooth, no lag. Let's check multitasking. We'll open up YouTube. Let's see what we got on deck. Let's see some uh, little Mortal Kombat. So I can watch them YouTube, scroll on Apple at the same time. Let's exit out of that. Let's open up YouTube. Let's get full screen. Now check this out. Hit both buttons. Switch to the back. Now this is the rear display. Hit both buttons again. Switch to the front. I love that. Now, let's check some other apps. If Aaron had his way, it would just be... All right, so let's check the dual display. Let's open up Instagram. All right, shout out to my dude going in for the kill. Let's hit my regular page. Now, if I want to go to the back, three fingers, and I'm on the back. Full Instagram. Now, if you want to use one hand, hit both buttons at the same time. Flip it over. I go ahead and like that photo. Flip it over. Keep scrolling. Go ahead and like that photo. Flip it over, keep scrolling. <laughs> As I can see, I'm having way too much fun with this. Let's check some of the other apps. Let's go home. Let's try uh, Facebook. All right, Heinz Oxtail. Flip over, full screen. This is a go. Let me go ahead and like that photo. Flip it over. This is too much fun. Or three fingers. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Vivo Next dual display a major, major go. I love the innovation. It's different and unique. The dual screens is just way too much fun. The camera's amazing. It's fast and smooth. And the let me see that factor is through the roof. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. 
Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>